Hello, my viewers. My name is Terry Menepe, Young Ways of Sunday, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel on PU Form Academy title, Ekpe Young PU Form Academy. Now, in this academy, I just said that it's about practical ideas, you understand, that will help you uh, in uh, optimizing your PU Form production or pro, uh, process so far so good we are on lesson 27 and this lesson 27 will be all about checking of your maximum tdi level in your pu formal formulation that is what we are going to consider today now looking at this simpler equation this is according to the European uh, standard. This is the question that will guide you. You know, once you are designing your PU form formulation and you want to produce, after designing the formulation, you have to measure your TDIR index. That is the isocyanide index. And what this index is all about? I just said that index being the ratio of tdi that is required that will now react with the available hydroxy group in the i mean with the polyol in the formulation and the hydroxy group normally stated in the safety data sheet of the polyol it could be 40 it could be 41 it could be 42 it could be 44 so it's all depend on the degree of polymerization and the manufacturing and uh, process of that uh, polyol and also based on the solid air content such as 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent so by carrying out this titration measure so there are certain factors that will uh, not allow it to be in the same range it's very even most manufacturer will say between 41 to 42 so what we do we choose average use it to design our PU formal formulation. And in my previous lesson, I did say that um, TDI index is nothing but you look at the actual NCO all over the theoretical, you know, understand times 100 over 1. Okay, this is the index. So in this case, it therefore means TDI it consumes in two ways. Hope you can remember this. The amount that is reacting with the polymeric polyol and the amount that is reacting with the water so those are the two ways at which it consume so equivalent of this one is where you are using the 0 0.155 times the oh value of that polyol this is where you use part by weight of water times 9.67 so these are the constants you understand these are the constant so in this way when you throw fixing your parameters you now choose your index okay choosing of index is like this okay let me show you something index tdi index is of three point hundred what we call exact stereochemistry balance you understand less than less than hundred we say it is rich with the polyol okay higher than this it is rich with a tdi in this case 
we have more cross linker here of the reaction okay here we have less cross linking okay in the reaction so in this case if you are not careful you are going to have what we call internal splits this kind of split you may not notice it or when they cut the foam you'll be start noticing a kind of internal split inside this phone i mean uh, this um, product because the cross-linking process here is too low in this kind of place it will lead to slow curing effects okay and this one is okay now the index you can take from you know since this geometry balance is 100 it therefore means if you add five it means five percent then ten percent so in this case we have one one five that is five percent you understand then um one one zero okay ten percent so likewise up to one twenty but in some country it's difficult for them to exit this they are choosing between 101 to let's say 110 so it varies but in nigeria you know africa we like foam that is a bit hard okay so because of achieving this hardness you have to raise it up to 120 now how do we now use this to measure this that is the legend uh, subject of the day take a look at this permit me to erase this because of space now looking at this equation you have this maximum then you have part by mc supposed in your formulation mc is six part by weight permit me to write in short form then your water is equal to let's say 4.5 part by weight so in that formulation in their form in these are the two types of blowing agent that will give you that particular density because density of uh, a foam is being influenced or affected by what your total blowing agent so in this case it is this water that you are going to use to check at what index are you going to run so you first of all calculated it assuming that the hydroxyl value of the polymeric polyol is 40 okay it is not fixed it could be 41 it could be 42 i'm choosing this as an example so in this case we now say for the one that is reacting with the polyol is 0 0.155 times 40 then the one that is reacting with water is 4.5 times 9.6 eh, 7 let us work this out so if we have 0 0.155, 0 0.155 times 40, so we have 6.2. Then we work this one out, 4.5 times 9.67. Now we have 43.52 approximately. Then we add this up plus 6.2. Then we have 49.72 approximately. So this is a TDI. Now, as a provisional, you now want to choose your index because this is exact, that equivalent to 100. But you want to increase it because you want to improve the hardness of the foam. You now say, okay, you take this, uh, you increase the index by 115 divide by 100 so when you divide this by 2 115 divide by 100 so this alone will give you 1.15 
are we all together you now multiply by this multiply by 49.72 so that will give you multiply by 49.72 so that will give you 57.18 so this is a TDI that you want to use now the reason that you are going to compare this with this in respect to MC to see whether that your form formulation is safe for use you understand that is when you will now hold this number constant let's write it 47.18 now we are going to use we are going to use what we needed there is the mc remember the mc is what six parts so let's start this will give you equal to 55 plus 0 0.7 this are constant times part of what mc was what six okay minus 0 0.01 multiply into okay let me leave this one to avoid confusion six two you understand so we bring this one this figure down plus using our more uh, um, uh, board mass this time this okay point seven times six this give us four point two minus okay this square times this that will be six times six equal to that is 36 times 0 0.01 equal to so this give us the whole of this will give us 0 0.36 okay so this plus this 55 point no sorry 55 five plus 4.2 that give us 59.2 minus 0 0.36 equal so minus 0 0.36 that equal to 58.84 but looking at this okay so this one is higher than this so it does not correlate but you the reason of this is to ensure that what you measure must be lesser than this so in this case you need to do what bring down your index you know this formulation we choose index of 115 okay so the measure value is higher than the calculated index therefore for the product and the term formulation to be safe this value must be lesser than this so you need to adjust your index downward okay by reducing it 115 you can take it to 113 okay this alone will improve the hardness of your phone because tdi uh, is one of the dangerous chemical used in the production of flexible polyethylene foam okay that is why it's under control that control means is regulated by laws of the country who use it how do you use it who are the personnel that use it what are the safety precautions that are being uh, put in place so that the human being who use it and the environment is safe that is why according to international i mean uh, occupational safety and health administration uh, recommendation is that the exposure limit is 0 0.005 part by uh part per million okay of safe exposure limit per eight hours per eight hours so this more this this uh um regulation must be well uh, guided by the users irrespective of the any country because it's castellanos in nature okay it's also restricted restricted means 
uh, it has, uh, um, what do I say? No, it is allowed to be used, but it must be under strict control. That's why I say some chemicals are restricted. Some are under control by the laws. Restricted is that though it's dangerous, but the fact that it is used for the manufacturing of certain products, it has to be guided, okay? So there must be a serious concern in terms of the regulatory uh, um, um, uh, regulatory uh, process of how this chemical is being uh, handled. So in Nigeria, I think uh, now that are doing well, okay, in ensuring that this chemical is well uh, handled by the personnel that are using it for the production of flexible uh, polyethylene uh, foam. So this is how to measure and check your TDIR in the way you are designing a, a PU foam formulation of any uh, density. Okay. I uh, hope this is very, very interesting. So continue to watch my video, subscribe, share. Just like I said, I have more than thousands of uh, PU foam logic okay, to present to you. By subscribing to it, this would enable you to improve your production or process and also optimize your production. By so doing, you will reduce the process here. Eh? West, thank you. Bye-bye.